Hi, it's Andy here. I just want to make a quick video about this new graphics card that I bought from eBay because I think this, this is quite interesting. This thing may hold some secret. Um, first of all, I think it's a graphics card and uh, I'm not sure because I, I got no information. That's why I'm making this video. But from the connector, uh, I think it's probably some kind of graphics card because this does not look like an RS-232. It's not the RS-232 port. And usually this type of port is used for graphics. However, the issue is I have no information on this graphics card. I can find nothing on the internet. There's nothing like it. So I don't know if it's a clone of a famous card or something. I have some tangential kind of circumstantial evidence that this might be a Hercules compatible card and I will get to that later. But first let's point out the obvious. First it has a printer port, which is a stable of monochrome graphics card for the PC. And I think the reason is that uh, the people who use a monochrome graphics card are more like business oriented instead of like home slash gaming oriented people. And they usually use printers. I guess this is the way the IBM designed it to save some cost for business customers. And uh, this design seemed to be copied by Hercules and other graphics card vendors. It's like usually it's a like CGA port and one or two composite here for a color graphics card and a monochrome port and printer port for a monochrome, monochrome graphics card. However, Hercules also did a Hercules color card, which is actually CGA, but has this type of layout. The second thing is that this card is called the Compro 88, and uh, I just cannot find anything about it. Oh, it says mono. It says mono here. So this is a mono card, and it's made by Spoons Limited. <laughs> Located in Brighton, England. Okay. And flipping on its back, you can see that this card is made in 8816, which means it's manufacturing 1988. That really, like, sue a lot of doubt, like, that this is a monochrome MDA card, because if you think about it, in 1988, I think people already had VGA and uh, even CGA is being phased out at that point. So I don't know why people made an MDA card, but it has a test date of 1988. And if we flip it uh, on the front side, the logic gates, they also have 88 dates, date code on them. However, I would like to add for a card manufactured back in 1988, this seems really pristine. Like there's some dust on it, but minimal, just minimal dust on it. And the build quality of this card is good. All the chips are socketed and they are all socketed in this like machine type sockets. I know people, some people hate them, but it is undeniable that this is the expensive type of socket. So again, I don't know whether, why people build this card in 1988 and made it a monochrome card. Maybe it's for debugging purposes because a one secret feature of MDA is that it can coexist with CGA and VGA cards so that you can kind of output debugging information to the MDA card while running your games or other application program on the CGA or VGA. But that would be a very kind of niche market and would be probably just for few with secondhand cars. 
or I had some gross misunderstanding of the graphics card market in the 1980s. Because, guess what? I was not alive back then. So, yeah. Now, let's get to some of the evidences that I think this card may be a clone of the Hercules card. And first thing first, let's take a look at the memory. Now, this memory is in the same location as the original IBM CGA card, but not the Hercules card. The Hercules card had memory like oriented like 90 degrees, like in the same orientation as the other chips, like in the middle as two rows. But this is like basically the same as the original CGA. And that also means that this card is incompatible with 16-bit ISA slots because if you slot it in, the ISA slot would mechanically conflict with this card here. So yeah. But if you look at the chips, they are actually not the CGA type. The CGA have uh, 4116 or just 16K by one chips. And these are all KM4164s. So this card has 64K of VRAM, which is consistent with Hercules cars. And yeah, it has the mono like character set and stuff. But it also has a HM3-6116-5 SRAM. Uh, I think this is present on the Hercules so that you can redefine the character set. I'm not really sure about it. I don't know enough about Hercules to be sure about it. However, I understand it's built for the purpose of supporting custom character sets. Also, this card has a 16 megahertz clock crystal, which is different from CGA, let's say. I don't know whether it's different from MDA. I don't know what clock does MDA use. I don't know what clock MDA uses, but the Hercules card does use a 16 megahertz clock. However, on the actual Hercules card, it's an active crystal instead of a passive crystal like this card. So even if uh, this card is compatible with a Hercules, it's not a Hercules clone card. It's made very obvious by the fact that it has one DIP40 chips instead of the two DIP40 chips on the Hercules. Um, I don't know, I'm just comparing it to the Wikipedia image of the Hercules graphics card. There may be a earlier version of the Hercules graphics card that uses just one DIP40 chips. Um, Unfortunately, the, the, the dip 40 is like taped over and it's really hard to remove without damage in it. And I don't know how rare this card is. So currently it's in really good condition. So I'm just not going to do things that is irreversible to it. However, if I would like to guess, like this is a Motorola 6845 CRTC chip and the functionality of the other DIP40 on the Hercules card is implemented in these 74 series TTL gates here because this card does seem to have more chips than the Hercules card shown on Wikipedia. So yeah, that's all I have about this graphics card. If you know it, if you have used it, if you know who Spoons Limited were back in the 80s, definitely leave a comment in the comment section video. And I guess that is it. I will see you in the next one. Bye.